John Clifford here. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about um, some techniques that you can use with your razor and some things that there are so many things out there that are just to me um, not correct and I wanted to show you some things that are incorrect and the correct way to do it. So what we're going to do is going to move on to our mannequin and show you some techniques now and then I'll explain my way through them. Okay, so we're going to be talking about what to do um, as far as your blade angle when you're cutting hair. There's several different techniques that we can use um, a feather razor with, but I wanted to dispel some other techniques that uh, some companies are telling you. Many companies are telling you to keep your blade very straight and just to push down on the hair to cut it. This to me is not a good scenario. Number one, you're really stressing out the hair. Number two, it takes a lot of force to push a sharp blade through hair like that. You're going to result with a lot of splits and a lot of damage to the hair. If you're forcing a blade through the hair, you're also stretching this hair. So when you stretch hair and then break it, it's going to spiral up, even if it's not curly hair, because that, as that tension is released, the hair is going to spiral up into the hair shaft that you already have, giving you lots of like texture and flyaway ends that you don't really want to have in your haircut. It's going to look like you have a lot of split ends in your hair when you didn't need to. You created them yourself. So please, if you're using your razor, don't go in tap, tap, tap like that trying to get your blade through the hair. What I like to do is we want to remove hair off the surface first of all. This particular technique, we're going to start with our blade very flat. Right now, as you can see, I'm moving the blade up and down, but there's no hair coming off. That's obviously because the blade isn't touching the surface of the hair. I want to go in baby steps as I start to release this hair. So I'm moving down and I'm slowly increasing my angle on the blade. As you see, the hair is coming off. It's not splitting the hair, it's not stressing the hair, and it's not creating tension and splits and ugly things traveling up the hair that you didn't plan on. That's one way of using the blade flat. If we want to go in and texture the hair vertically, we're going to use our blade this way. Again, we want to start off with zero angle and slowly increase the angle so that we can cut more hair. As you can see, I can put this hair up and down in that hair shaft and no hair is coming off. The minute I increase my angle a bit, I can take hair off. Again, you're texturizing the hair with no damage. Hair is coming off, but very little. You don't have to go completely ballistic to try and razor cut hair. You be very delicate, be very artistic, use your creative side, break up the texture, and don't create damage. Again, I think a mannequin is the best place to start. If you're tentative about razor cutting, you're fearful of it, everyone has a mannequin. If you don't have one, they're very easy to get. And please, get your confidence up on someone that's not going to complain. <laughs> These never complain. So use them for what they were meant for, practice your technique, and perfect your art. When we're using the blade flat, and we're going through a large section of hair, and we start to cut this way, increasing the angle, what we're doing is we're taking hair off of the outside layer of the hair. So we will remove the outer layers of the hair. If we want to go in with a vertical blade, what's happening at that point is, now we're going to be releasing individual strands of hair through the haircut. So you're not just dealing with a surface area, you're dealing with everything through that section. You can break up that section and make it a lot lighter. As we go through, breaking up the section, making it a lot lighter. It's going all the way through that section. Again, and just as a recap, if we're using a flat blade on the surface of the hair, we're only going to remove the surface, unless we keep working it and working it and working it and going through. But what will happen if we keep doing it that way is that we will deplete the hair so much that it'll look like very skinny tendrils. And that's not the look we're going to go for. The one thing I recommend you to do if you're very tentative about razor cutting, and it is a very scary thing because 
you can take too much off too quickly, which I've seen many people do. So I advise you to get a mannequin, an old beater mannequin, it doesn't matter. But start playing with the hair, start getting a feel for your razor, try different techniques, surface techniques, even cutting into the hair vertically to try different texturizing techniques. The mannequin is going to help you perfect your technique and help you get more creative with your razor. So please try this and I hope your skills will improve from that.